हेलो एवरी वन असलकुम सो आई एम जहूर इस्लाम एंड टूडे माई प्रजेंटेशन लेक्चर इज ऑन द मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ जीनोबायोटिक्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग प्रजेंटेशन ऑन मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ जीनोबायोटिक वी विल डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन जीनोबायोटिक्स प्रोबायोटिक्स एंड एंटीबायोटिक्स Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will explain the biotransformation process, the detoxification reactions of xenobiotics. So, first of all, xenobiotics. This is the Greek word, which means xenos mean stranger. Xenobiotic is a compound that is. foreign to the body or anything which come from the outside environment xenobiotics can produce a variety of biological effects including pharmacological response including toxicity including immunological response including cancer so most of the students so they were asked in my class that sir how we can differentiate between xenobiotic and probiotics so it is clear that xenobiotic is a stranger or this is the compounds which is foreign to the body and it has different biological activity while the probiotics they are often called good or helpful bacteria because these bacteria help to keep your guts healthy so you can find out the probiotics and supplements and some food like yogurts so if you remember most of the doctors or physician suggest the probiotics for your digestive problems you know there are some classical examples of probiotics and another word probiotics these are the live microorganism that have a health benefits when consumes probiotics are usually they are usually beneficial bacteria which provide all sort of powerful benefits so probiotics they are found in yogurts and many and more food supplements okay so uh, and another one is antibiotic so you know about antibiotic they these are uh, those chemical substances which are effective in a very low concentrations or those chemical substances those drugs which have the capability to inhibit to stop the growth of microorganism as well as to kill it so this was a little bit different between antibiotic probiotic and xenobiotic so is it clear okay so let me explain the xenobiotic uh types in its classifications so xenobiotics it can be exogenous or it can be endogenous there are two types of xenobiotics exogenous xenobiotics are those xenobiotics and uh, are those foreign molecules which are not normally ingested or utilized by the organism but they gain entry through the dietary food supplements or in the form of certain medicines or in the form of drugs which is used for therapeutic cause or inhaled through environment is it clear so i mean that exogenous mean those foreign molecules which are not normally ingested or utilized by the organisms we can't ingest we can't 
ingest it or utilize it but this is actually the outside source outside source mean this is pollen molecules but they gain the entry through dietary food contents or food supplements which we are using in our daily life so they are in the form of certain medicines mean xenobiotic it may be in the form of medicines it may be in the form of drugs and they are used for the variety of a purpose for therapeutic cause or it may be inhaled through environments okay there are some examples which are given so you can you can see here on my screen drugs are xenobiotic food additives are xenobiotics pollutants they are xenobiotic insecticides these are uh, xenobiotics and chemical carcinogens these are also xenobiotics so these are very classical and easy example so all these are foreign molecules because it can be ingested from the outside environment maybe in the form of drugs maybe in the form of food maybe in the form of additives maybe in the form of pollutants so pollutants it can be inhaled from outside so it also come under the category of foreign molecules xenobiotic it uh, may be endogenous endogenous mean uh, those xenobiotics uh, though they are not foreign substances but have effects similar to exogenous xenobiotics actually the endogenous Uh, xenobiotic they are synthesized in the body and they are produced as a metabolites of various process in the body i mean that these xenobiotics they are synthesized in your body system and then they are produced as a metabolites of various process in the body so the classical example that is bilirubin so you know about bilirubin you know about bile you know about bile you know about the bile acids you know about steroids Now, you know about the eicosanoids you know about the certain fatty acids so all these uh, uh, you can see the uh, metabolites and all these products come under the category of endogenous xenobiotics which are produced by your body systems so bilirubin they are synthesized in your body as we know that the uh, liver secrete bile and that bile is responsible for the digestion of fats you know steroids steroids they are also produced in your body your adrenal gland your adrenal release your adrenal gland release some special type of chemical substances like adrenaline epinephrine nonepinephrines and you know adrenal medulla adrenal cortex to adrenal medulla at least certain steroids so steroids can be produced by your body bile acids can be produced by your body that's why it come under the category of endogenous xenobiotics uh inshallah in my next lecture uh we will just explain the basic metabolic pathway of the xenobiotics that how the xenobiotic metabolism occur inside in our body so there are different mechanisms inshallah i will explain the uh, uh, entire lecture that is about the metabolism of the xenobiotic that how these you know biotics they are metabolized in your body so inshallah it will be explained in my next lecture thank you so much for watching my lectures so if you have any questions so i am always available for any kind of services so this is my youtube channel so you can watch this video on my page as well as uh, on my youtube channels and if you need any kind of help uh, regarding um, any subject so inshallah i will strongly support my all students wish you best of luck and thank you so much for watching my lectures if you didn't subscribe my channel so please subscribe it and also press the bell icon for my upcoming lectures thank you